Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to do basic research for your English 1020 scientific exploration class. This course will explore the implications of scientific and technical advancements in the everyday world. Some of the topics will relate to technology, environmental studies, philosophy, physical science, mathematics, and medicine. Our topic we are going to research is self-driving cars or autonomous vehicles. The databases we will be using is a Gale database, Opposing Viewpoints, and a ProQuest database, Advanced Technologies, and Aerospace Collection. We're going to begin our research by going to the Shared Library homepage, which is located at libraries.etsu.edu. We want to find a little background information on our topic, so we're going to go to the Opposing Viewpoints database. There's a couple of ways we can do this. Go to the Browse, A to Z database, select. We'll go to O for Opposing Viewpoints, select. Scroll down to Opposing Viewpoints and select. Here we have the Opposing Viewpoints database. In the search bar, we'll enter in self-driving cars and search. Once we've entered our criteria, it brings up information on self-driving cars. It gives a brief overview here at the top. As you scroll down, it shows you featured viewpoints, academic journals, images, reference, infographics, videos, magazines, news, websites, and statistics. At the bottom you also have related topics that pertain to your main topic. We will now select an article under academic journals. Once the article is available, you see that we can save it through Google Drive, through the cloud, email, or download. Also on the right hand side you have related articles to your main article. If you scroll down to the very bottom, you have your source citation guide, MLA, APA, and Chicago. You always want to double check this to make sure it's 100% correct. So now, once we have our background information, and we've narrowed our topic down to self-driving cars and sensors, we will go back to the library homepage. This time, we will access the databases a different way. We'll go up to Research, Select, go over to Subject and Course Guides, down to Subject Guides, Select. <clears throat> Here you have 57 different subject guides. Under each subject, you have a list of databases for that subject. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to select Computing. You now have a list of databases for this subject. Over on the left hand side, you have Articles and databases, books and ebooks, journals, media, reference tools, research tutorials, and open educational resources, OERs. Let's go back up to articles and databases. We are now going to select advanced technologies and aerospace collection. We will now enter in our topic, which is self-driving cars. We're also going to select full text and peer review. Once we search, we came up with a little over 6,200 results. Over on the left-hand side, we have our limiters. We're now going to limit our date range. Typically, we go back the past five to 10 years. This time, we're going to go back the past 10 years. And that brought us down to 5,100 results. So now we're going to go up to the past 5 years. And that brought us down to just a little over 3,700. Now we're going to limit it just a little bit more. 
we can do publication title, document type, subject, location, and language. For publication title, we're going to select Sensors. And for document type, we're going to select Article. Under subject type, we will select sensors and our location, we're just going to do the United States. Now we have 40 results. That has narrowed it down a lot. So now we can look through these articles and see if we're finding anything with self-driving vehicles and sensors. So this article right here looks like it may be the one that we're looking for. Feasible self-calibration of larger field of view camera sensors for the advanced driver assistance system. So we'll select this article. Once you select the article, it will bring up at the top an abstract view of your article. If you scroll down, you have the full text of the article. You can also translate it. You can select your language from to to. And once you scroll back up to the top, you can download it as a PDF. You can cite it. If you select this, you can look up APA, MLA, Chicago. You may want to double check those just to make sure they're 100% correct. You also have an email button where you can email it to yourself and you can also print it. Down below that on the right hand side you have related articles um, that's related to the article that we just found that you can use. Um, you may want to look at these. It could show you research or you can look at the references and you can find other articles that way. This concludes our session. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you.